Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3. Last time we played, we kept doing some research for Moira. That research ended up taking us to our local library and also to Rivet City to uh, discover some history. We got a lot done and now there's only one thing left to do and the Wasteland Survival Guide will be complete. So we're going to go take care of that. Before we go, um, I just want to show off. I was doing a little something off screen. Uh, I... I wanted to make, uh, I wanted to get us a new weapon, right? Something new and interesting. So I figured I would go out and hunt for a rad scorpion. It did not take long. There was one right outside of Megaton. So that was just great. I saw him down over there by um, Springvale. So it, it didn't take long. But with the stinger that I got from him, I was able to make ah, a dart gun. Sweet. Now... Now, this is going to be great for us. This is going to be wonderful. Every time we go to fight a melee enemy, this is what we're going to use. It it basically instantly cripples their legs. So, it's going to be super helpful. And maybe we can get some use out of it today. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, what I do know is that our plan is to go to the Robco uh, robot facility. What is it called? It's on the map. I believe we've been there before. Yeah, it's just called the Robco facility. So we're going to go there. Excellent. And you know what? There's something else that I wanted to do around here. Here we go. Tinker Joe. No, I don't want... What are you guys What are you guys fighting over here? What is this, huh? Uh, it's a Mr. Gutsy. It's a Mr. Gutsy. Great. Oh. Okay, cool. It was just a Mr. Handy. I was afraid maybe it was uh, RL3. There we go. God, are, are we done? That enough enemies? Goodness gracious. Alright. Here we go. Alright, hey, sir. Sir, please stand still. Sir. Joe. Tinker Joe. Talk to me. Well, RL3 is a bit finicky about the company he keeps. And I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. Oh, god dang it. I forgot. It's because I'm very evil. Ah. Okay. Well, uh. God dang it. All right. Fine. I wanted to get a robot, but I guess I'm not going to get a robot today. Whatever. We're going to go in here. We'll take care of it. Man. I'm kind of bummed about that. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, Robco facility it is. All we got to do is uh, plug a widget into a mainframe. It should be pretty simple. There's just some roaches in here. I was kind of expect. Well, there's a mole rat as well. I was kind of expecting to run into robots, honestly. Uh, alive robots. I found a couple that are just sort of, sort of busted, laying on the ground. Ooh, stealth boy. Ooh, there's a lion congressional style. That's nice. Uh, this guy had a bad time. So, sorry, guy. Or ma'am. Let me see. Oh, and a pre-war book. That's awesome. It's basically just finding 100 caps on the ground. You know what I mean? It's good for me. Uh, I hear enemies, but I don't know if it's... It kind of sounds like more roaches. Oh. Oh, well, it was a it was a, a roach and also a mole rat, so it, I was kind of right. Oh my gosh, I found like four stealth boys in here already. I got lucky. Uh, do you see there where it says Mark One Turret? The heck! Oh, there it is. Can I can I kill this thing while it's not active? I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think so. So we'll just uh, move on. Hello. Hi, Mole Rat. There we go. I'm glad I kept my sledgehammer out. Rather than wasting any sort of... Jeez, man. The... The... The bits that fly off really mess with the physics. Yeah, I'm glad I kept my sledgehammer out rather than trying to, like, shoot these guys with ammo. It's just not worth it. Let's see. I hear more creatures. Where are you? 
Uh, some ro some more rats, some roaches. No big deal. There we go, and you. Perfect. Oh, more more rats. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like I don't like killing more rats. I kind of like them. I think they're charming in their own hideously mutated way. Oh, hey, I walked right past the first aid box. A big book of science. Heck yeah. And a Robco jumpsuit. I don't know if that's a unique item, but uh, I am going to take it. <laughs> also, I'm going to read these books that I picked up. Let me see here. I hear more roaches. Oh, but they're, they're up above me. Okay. Man, there's a very distinct lack of robots here. Oh, lots of scrap metal, though. That's going to be good. I mean, it's not great. It's it's 10 caps or a little bit of karma. <laughs> I do need to get my karma back to neutral. Uh, Franklin is a certified jerk right now. I'm still very evil. I haven't done anything good. <laughs> I haven't done anything good at all in a while. Okay. Let's see. Okay, just an empty hallway. Great. Cool. That's so good. Alright. I know there's another roach in here. Not anymore, there's not. Okay, there's a door to offices and cafeteria. I definitely know I want to go in there, but I'm going to go down uh, this... Down over here, there's like a little stairwell. We're going to hop our way down, and I think there's an enemy down here. Yeah, there is. It's just a roach, of course. Why would I think it would be anything interesting? Come here, buddy. Have we... We've already been down here. What the heck? This whole place loops in on itself. Alright, let's go into the offices and cafeteria. More roaches! Jeez, man. Those physics are crazy. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we can find some quantums. Uh... Not quite. Not quite lucky enough, but uh, there's one more. No, no quantums today. That's all right. One more rats, too. Get out of here. Thank you. There's an absurd amount of junk in here, but nothing like specific that I need, you know? We'll take that. Okay, cool. Found the cafeteria. Some squirrels, too. Man, I keep hearing the roaches, but... I, I at least don't see any in here, so I guess that's... Well, it's not like they're, they're really that worrying. It's not like I'm going to die to a roach. But I don't need to get myself spooked and jumped by one. Hello? Figure there had to be one at least nearby. Jeez. Oh, this is different. Hey, on the plus side, too, we haven't really run into, like, any locked doors or anything, so that's been good. Get out of here. Yeah, no locked doors, no locked safes, nothing like that. At least not yet. I'm not saying there's none in here. I'm just saying we... We've yet to come across them. I don't know how I was able to hit that through the fence, but okay. Shoot. God dang it. I looped around in a circle again. God. I'm not really paying attention to where I'm going. I think there was a way to... Oh, there's a... There's a more rat. I think there's a way to get upstairs. Obviously, it's right here. Stairs. Great. This is where we're going. Kill the ro I missed. No, no, I didn't miss. Okay, cool. Your turn. Alright. The sledgehammer is working out great for me. Ah, I shouldn't have said anything. 
Average locked. Man, I'm still not, I'm still, what am I at? 31, 32, something like that. Uh, there it is. Lock 32. Yeah, it's, man. It's going to be a while before I get there. Even if I leveled up, I still wouldn't be able to make it to 50. <laughs> awesome. I am, I'm so good at planning things out. Great, another book, a stealth boy, and obviously the place where I need to install the widget. Also, there's so many mugs. These dudes are having a party in here. Dang, man, that's a lot of coffee. Alright, um... I don't think there's anything major that I need to do. Ah! What? Okay. Alright, great. I thought maybe I had to hack it. I was like, I, there's no way. I'm never going to be able to do that. Alright, install the processor widget. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Hold on, I, I can't do the. Oh God! Okay, hold on. First of all, you are the worst. All right, throw a pulse grenade. That worked. There we go. Any more? I think there's one more. Okay, um, crap, crap, I, I, I think I need to actually get in there, but I can't because I don't have high enough science skill. You've got to be freaking kidding me. My science is only at 12. I, I can't get up to, no, god dang it. Oh, man, that is such a bummer. Yeah, so uh, unless, unless I can get, okay, look. At least now I get to actually fight robots, but get out of here. Uh, unless, unless I can get my uh, science up to 50, I can't. God dang it. I won't. Oh my God. I was not expecting them to be there. <laughs> Hold up. I got a, I got a, I got a thing to do for this. Hold on. I got a pulse grenade. There we go. Perfect. That was very effective. Alright. Do that. Uh, that did not... That did not work as well as I thought it was going to. Okay. Try a, uh, try a frag grenade. Come on. Okay, that's that's at least one of them. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, <laughs> God dang it. All right. So, hey, 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 hey. Golly. Okay. Now, if I could just say the things that I want to say right now, without getting distracted by all these stupid robots. Whoa, okay. Up and down. Hold on, guys. I don't really want to fight you right now. I got I got other things going on. I got a lot of sadness that I got to get out. Put it out into the world. I don't want to hold it in. Okay, first of all, you're pissing me off. Second of all, you're killing me. You're actually killing me. Okay, front door, front door, here we go. Yes! All right, so, are they gonna follow me? Uh, where are you going? Okay, I don't think they're gonna follow me. Now, here's the thing. I have, I have a science skill of, what was it, 12? It's not very... <laughs> It's not very good. Yeah, I have a science of 12 and I need to get it to 50 because honestly, I would really, really like to fully complete 
the wasteland survival guide so i need to, i need to oh man what am i gonna do what am i gonna do okay well i'm super bummed about that but that's okay so i can't complete that quest yet not until i get my science up to 50 but you know what i'm really really mad about it i'm super mad about it uh i did i fast travel to uh let's see where am i hallowed moore cemetery there's a reason why i'm here but um unfortunately uh i i spawned with a bunch of super mutants so i have to t i have to take care of them real quick see they're super not happy about me being here not happy at all that's okay we'll take oh my god hey man get thank you Oh god, one of them <laughs> one of them has a minigun. Good lord, man. Whoa, hey buddy. I was not expecting you to be right here. All right. So anyways, crippled his legs. <laughs> you two over there are really making me upset. Hold on here. Man, I have nine stealth boys. How did this happen? All right. Missile launcher. You. I need you to die. Oh, man. He's a master. Well, that might be uh, one of the first ones we've seen of him. Oh boy. This is not good. This is not good. Oh boy. Come on. You gotta reload faster. Let's kill these guys here. This ought to do it. Perfect. All right. Give me your minigun. There we go. Perfect. Maybe not perfect. I, I did kind of stumble into all of this. I didn't really mean to, but that's okay. I got a sledgehammer to repair my tenderizer, though. That's nice. Okay. Um. All right. There's... This guy that's in here is actually incredibly lucky that I want good karma. I'm actually going to save him. Which he should be happy about. Not everyone is so lucky. Alright, buddy. You're incredibly lucky today. I'm actually... I need good karma, so uh, I'll untie ya. What? Who? You mean... Are you for real? I'm safe? I, I need to get out of here. Here, take these supplies. It's all I have, but they'll only slow me down. You know what? I will take here, that. Get out of here. Again. I'm going to try and make it home if it's still there. Let's see. What did I get for that? What did I get for my trouble? A nail board. I can't I can't describe to you how upsetting that is. <laughs> Ooh, DC. Okay. That, okay, that's better. I got I got a skill book instead for medicine. I do like that. Heck yeah. I will take it. Okay, so. I came out this way for a reason. A very specific reason. Because, you know what? I'm mad. And I'm, I'm already evil, right? So, maybe I should just lean in. Lean into the, uh the evil for a little while right why not uh, the place I want to be is coming up ahead too it's gonna be great <laughs> well it's gonna be great for me maybe not so much for some other people
Man, the last thing I needed right now is more super mutants. Come on. There we go. Gosh, had enough of you guys today. There's so many bits and pieces. There we go. God, there's even more mutants. I'm not I'm not gonna deal with them right now. I'm, I'm not I'm not bothered. I'm not gonna go and pick a fight with them. Duck and cover though. Heck yeah. That's another point to explosives. I found quite a few uh skill journals just lying around today. I did not mean to. There wasn't nothing. Nothing that I do is ever planned, ever. I just, I roll with the punches and I just sort of wing it, obviously. I don't, <laughs> you really didn't need me to tell you that. I'm sure if you just watched a couple episodes, you figured it out. God dang, that's a big old ice cream cone. Heck yeah. Got a sweet haircut too, man. Okay, this is where I want to be. I just got to figure out the uh, the right angle of approach here. Ah, here we go. I think I'm heading in the right direction. There's even a, a, a merchant out here. Which uh, which one are you, Crow? Here to acquire a new mantle of metal or mesh. If you have the caps, I have the merchandise. Very dramatic, but I'll see what you got, man. I could use some. I, I mean, I've been. Uh, I. The armor I've got, the combat armor is pretty good, but I'm always willing to, you know, take a look. Man, then here are the means to re well, nothing new, but at least I got everything repaired, so that's nice. Anyways, welcome to Paradise Falls. Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Okay, so Paradise Falls. It is literally a settlement for slavers. It's a <laughs> it's not it's not a good place. This is terrible. Only only terrible evil people are allowed in here, of which I am one. So to get in here, normally if if you're if you're very good at karma, they will not let you in. It it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, if you're lower than that, though, you can do a quest for this guy. Uh, Grouse? I, th I, I don't know how you pronounce his name. I'm not good with names. But uh, he'll have you do a quest in order to go... Uh, he gives you an item. I think it's called the Mesmatron. And you can go... He, he gives you a list of a couple people that you can, um, you know, in, enslave. It's, it's not good. <laughs> it's actually very terrible. Um, however... When you're very evil. Well, no. I don't think so. Are you sure? Don't you know who you're dealing with? Come on, let me in. There's no need to flex. I was just playing with you. We know who you are. You can come in. Friendly warning. Don't act like a jackass. You won't get a second chance. Oh, and if you want, I have a mutually beneficial offer for you to think about. Oh, I guess, I guess he will give you the, the Mesmatron with, uh, probably an offer of money, right? I mean, just the, the whole system going on here. I got this Mesmatron thing. It's some kind of stun gun. I'd like you to test it out for me. Should make getting slaves easier. You take this Mesmer, shoot it at some poor schmuck. While he's in La La Land, you slip one of these collars over his head. Be careful with that collar. It'll explode if you tinker with it. Tell the slave to boot it over here pronto or his head will pop. Here's a list of special targets Eulogy wants enslaved. But feel free to put a collar on anyone you can. I'll pay you for each slave that arrives. Okay, cool. Yeah, list of recruits. Strictly business. 
I mean, look, we're not going to stay evil, and I feel really gross doing this, but, I mean, money is money, right? I, I don't know. We'll consider it. I mean, some of these people are pretty big targets. Like, Flack from Rivet City would be pretty hard to get a collar on without somebody noticing. And I don't exactly have high sneak. So, I may or may not do this quest. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I... I feel iffy about it, right? Like, I want the money, but also, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to enslave people, man. I'm just, I'm just evil because, what did I do that made me, oh yeah, I killed everyone in Tenpenny Town. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't kill them personally, well, I killed a couple of them personally, but I did sort of, you know, I revealed an affair, and that got two people killed, but I, I didn't do, I didn't do the murdering. And also, uh, you know, don't cheat on your partner. And, uh, I let the ghouls in that slaughtered everybody. You know, no matter what way you shake it, I'm just not a good guy right now. I will talk to you later, dude. Sure thing. We're gonna, we're gonna go in here. Um. Ah, uh, you know what? I... <laughs> I was so, like, determined to get here initially, thinking, like, this is going to be great because I'm so grumpy because I, I couldn't uh, do Mara's quest. But now that I'm here, I feel kind of not great. Oh, here's a... Hey, His head popped. <laughs> also, I, I didn't mean to shake the camera like that. All right. Sorry, Carter. Well, you shouldn't have run, man. Oh, yeah, there's kids in here, too, in case you didn't. This place is awful. This is a terrible God, place. Mister, you gotta help us. You gotta get us out of here. The fuck are you looking at, huh? Whoa, dude. Lucky break there. He almost got away. Ain't none of them getting nowhere. Not with them collars on. Asshole should have known better. Hmm. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get in here. <laughs> This is, this is terrible. Stow your peace. All right, cool. This is, man. I don't condone anything that I'm gonna do while I'm here. Just, just so everyone's aware. Hey, we grabbed this on our last mission. Thought you might like it. Uh, thanks, man. Keep it coming. Any time, man. Any time at all. Man, I just got here. In fact, I don't even know what he gave me. Huh. All right. Well, uh, hey, there's a man up top that I want to talk to. We should grab a drink sometime. Man, everyone here really, li <laughs> really likes me, and I don't feel great about it. This isn't exactly the place I want to be popular at, you know. Well, while we're here, there's another bobblehead for us. The bobblehead of speech. Completely useless for us because I'm still not going to do any speech checks. But, uh, hey, man, it's good to have. The inscription on the base reads, Let your words be your weapon. Speech has been permanently increased by 10 points. Uh, don't need it. It's not helpful to me. A request for help. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Okay. Yeah, that's when it's when you're when you're in a, a place full of slavers and you find something that says a note for help, you just kind of assume it's going to be something completely different. Um Where the heck did they go? Are you are you serious? Dude. Eulogy. My man. Talk to me. Oh, by the way, his name's Eulogy Jones, but what's going on, buddy? You must be our prospective customer. I do hope Paradise Falls can accommodate your needs. 
We make no judgments, no assumptions. We understand that it's a harsh world out there, and you do what you must to make it. Now, was there something specific you were interested in? Man, he's a smooth talker, but, um, whew, don't, uh, don't like him. Oh, yeah, there's some kids. You can buy them. Uh, it's important for requests later on. Yeah, I, I, not, not to own child slaves. I can't, God, I feel terrible right now. This is not a good time for me. I feel gross, but I, I'm, I'm already evil. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with this for a little while, man. The wasteland's harsh and it just leads you to do terrible things. So here we are. I like your bodyguards, dude. Are you selling them? You gotta be careful using a slave as a bodyguard. Most aren't exactly motivated to keep you alive. You know what I mean? You're in luck. It turns out my girl Clover is just the right little package for you. Mmm. What makes her so special? I'll tell you why. Because Clover is the craziest girl I've ever seen. And I'm an expert on crazy girls. Crazy in a fight. Crazy in the sack. Crazy every which way but loose, but most of all, she's crazy in love with whoever's holding her leash. And for the low cost of a thousand caps, Miss Clover could be crazy for you. So, I couldn't... <laughs> God! I couldn't buy Sergeant RL3, so this is what we're going to do. We're, we're going to have Clover come with us. Um... This is a terrible idea, but we're gonna do it. You don't know the half of it, friend. Clover's all yours now. Have fun, you two. Okay. So say hello to Clover. My name's Clover. I hear you're the new man in my life. You're looking for a bodyguard, and I'm looking for a body. Sounds like we're going to have some fun times, lover. Feel weird about it, man. I just feel weird about everything, okay? Um. Whatever, let's go. Whatever you say, honey. So, companions in this game basically just follow you around, and anytime you get into a fight, they help you. I I don't know if I can give her any armor. Like I've got something to say to you, Mr. DJ. Whatever you have to say, it can wait. You're not here to talk. I know. Hmm. Did I say I communist to you? I say that I don't I'm gonna I'm gonna actually see if I can find some armor if she'll if she'll put it on Whoa, sorry. I'll get out of your way. I know there's a merchant around here somewhere uh, if not I can just go back out to uh, that's the bathroom I can go back out to uh, what is his name I just talked to him crow I, I'll go talk to crow I'll, I'll see if he's got anything yeah man I, I don't know I feel weird right I'm not specifically making my character evil but I'm just doing evil things just because I'm here yeah, there's not a whole lot of depth to the companions in this game either. You can't really... She, man, you can't, like, talk to her about who she was before no she here, came to Paradise Falls or where she was captured from or how long she... You learn nothing about the character. It's this way for... Uh, Crow's not out here, by the way. It's this way for every uh, companion in the game. There's just not a whole lot of, of history behind them. I guess for a couple... Uh, you could learn a few things about him, but Clover's pretty much a mystery, I think. I, I don't know if there's there's any, like, audio logs or, like, notes or anything that you can find. And I don't believe she'll talk to you about it. I don't think she's interested in having a conversation with you. But, yeah. <laughs> I've heard a few things about you. Now we, now we have our own... Slave body. You can never take the collar off her neck either. You you can't do anything hey for her. You need guns. Surprisingly, he didn't have a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of weapons. Can I do something for you, or to you? I said weapons, but I meant uh, ammo. Uh, let's see. Let's trade equipment. You're always welcome to take whatever you want, lover. We'll give her that. I don't know if she'll put it on though. She will put it on. Okay. Whatever you say, honey. I feel really uncomfortable, man. I just. <laughs> I'm making bad decisions today. Whatever. It's it's not fine. I refuse to say that it's fine. Like, normally I'm like, oh, whatever. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. This is not cool. This is objectively terrible. But I'm doing it anyways. So, shut up. 
This sucks. Look at what this wasteland's done to me. I, I, when I came out of that vault, I was a nice guy. You know? I, well, I, maybe I wasn't nice, but I was definitely at least neutral. <laughs> I was at least lawful neutral, as far as I'm concerned. And now look at me. I'm not chaotic evil. But... I get, maybe I kind of am chaotic evil. There's no really telling what I'm going to do. I just, whatever I feel in the moment is right is what I do. All right. So, I know what we're going to do next. I'm super mad about not being able to shut up. Shut up. I'm sorry, Clover. This isn't your fault. But, I know what we're going to do. All right. I, I know where to take us. Ooh, snap. Oh, snap. He actually... Oh my god, this sentry bot killed one of the Brotherhood guys. Hey. What? Hey. Clover. Wants this Clover, this is not our fight. Ah, oh, man, but it might be. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, I'm just, I'm just going to let this play out. Because either this Brotherhood guy dies and I- Oh my god! There we go. Oh boy. I came here for a reason and it wasn't to fight a sentry bot. Just just so everyone's aware of like how, how today is shaping up. Oh no! I gained some karma because I killed the cannibals and we died god dang it I didn't mean to blow up a car we're gonna let this play out again <laughs> Clover don't get involved okay we're, we're everything's fine right now holy crap that dude mowed them down Clover, you better not die. I just bought you. Good God. Okay. That was dumb. Clo Clover. Okay. Thank you. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, so look, here's the thing. With with these Brotherhood guys dying, I decided to take the power armor, so that way <laughs> that way I could go the um the Brotherhood outcast. They'll they'll buy this stuff off of us. Uh, apparently Clover can just put it on. Uh which is kind of surprising because you need like special training uh in order to wear power armor. But no, she could just put it on. I guess she could wear that for a little while, Clover. It makes me feel a little less guilty about about having having you around. I came out here for a reason. A better guy. I just. Can I do something? You're always welcome to take one. Look, I gave you two laser rifles, dude. Hey, want some ammo for it? I'll give you some ammo for it. Maybe then you can use it. I don't know if she'll actually pull it out and use it, but it's worth it. Oh my god, there's another laser rifle. Well. Hey, man. That seemed to work out for us. Okay, so... <laughs> I came back here to Smith Casey's garage. Alright, and the reason why is because going in here is going to take us to our dad. Dear old dad. Uh, which is something that we need to be doing anyways, because honestly, I've kind of neglected the main quest for a little while now. Let's see. No, she's just going to use her shotgun. That's okay.
Oh, I didn't know she had a sword too. There we go. Heck yeah, I found a copy of Tumblers today. All right. Here we go. Dad's gonna be down in here. Clover, do you do not? God, you stupid mole rat. Okay, is there anything else in here? Yes, there is. <laughs> Man, Clover sure talks a lot. I don't remember that at all. Okay, down here into Vault 112. This is very important for us. Perfect. Our dad's going to be just beyond this big old vault door. It's going to be fun going back into a vault. But I think we're going to save that for the next episode. So for now, with Clover by our side, uh, very reluctantly, I don't think we're going to have her for very long. I feel, I feel very gross. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, we've got Clover for now. We'll try to keep her alive. I mean... <sighs> what? Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's not fine, but we're evil right now. Okay, that's what we're rolling with. We're just we're terrible, terrible people right now. Ah, and uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do on the net. Well, we know exactly what we're gonna do on the next episode. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna find our dad. It's coming up. We're getting this main plot rolling along. So I hope that you're looking forward to that. And if you made it this far into the video, as always. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Bye.